Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday video. Um, my name is Jose Jaramillo. I am a, an application specialist here at Catmico Solutions. And today we're going to be looking into a very common problem um, that happens to some PDM vaults when we, we move or we migrate the servers. So um, in this case, I have here a vault that I'm going to try to explore. And what's going to happen is I'm going to be presented with the login, um, with the login screen, which may make me think that I am going to the right path. But look, when I try to put my password and log in, then it's going to freeze for a minute, and then we're going to have this error. So essentially, um, the archive server is looking for for this um, for this for the for this machine called uh, Jupiter in this case and at the vault it's going and for the vault it's going to to look for a um, database called called s test um, so I'm gonna say okay to that and I'm going to go for a minute just gonna close this and I'm going to go to my archive server configuration so here if I open my archives and I look for my vault, I'm going to see that the database server is called uh, Jupyter, right? So, um, in order to be able to connect to this uh, vault, I'm going to have to change this value to match the actual value of this of the vault. So, this vault uh, came from a machine called Jupyter, and now it's on a uh, Milky Way machine. So what I'm have to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to the registry and I'm going to find a key for this cold storage test. So this cold S test vault will present here under database server the um, correct value and then I'm going to be able to connect and get rid of the error. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my server and I'm going to stop the service. So I click stop here, I'm going to close and I'm going to make sure that I exit the archive server configuration first. Once that's done, I am going to navigate to this registry location. Say so yes. And then I'm going to go here and navigate right there. So here I have my vaults folder and I have my cold S test folder on the archive. As you can see, this is the database name from the error. And this is the server that was reflecting on the archive server configuration. So what I'm going to do here, and this is very, very important, be very, very cautious when modifying the registry because the, um, the possibility of breaking something in an irreparable way, it's very high. So we have to make sure that we are in the right location before making a modification. You can even back it up. So to back up a uh, registry setting, uh, registry setting uh, you can just right click and say export. I'm not going to do that um, and I'm just going to go ahead and change this with a profit value. So this is the instance where I want this fault to connect. I'm going to say OK and then I'm just going to go ahead and close my registry. Now I'm going to test this. Let's go to the archive. Say yes, and then um, under archives, we can see that now it's connecting to the right database. Just gonna hit start to start the service, and now my vault should be connected to the right server. Now that should fix um, all the new clients that we will be creating from uh, right now uh, into the future. But uh, those clients that were already connecting to that vault are going to be showing the same uh, error. There are two ways to fix this. Uh, one is recreate the vault views, um, delete, delete 
all the all the all the local views in on those clients and then recreating them, um, or um, modifying the registry in these two particular locations, this one and this one. That should fix the issue. Maybe um, depending on the configuration of the machine, sometimes uh, this will not fix the issue. You're still getting the error. Um, this is because there is an additional key that it's the um, cure, uh, log, log name user key that may be uh, keeping the value. So in, in the users or under users in the registry, there is an additional key that contains a folder called Conicio admin. This is like a cache. Um, so if we still have issues, it's because the um, client is trying to use the cached registry value to connect to the vault. In this case, what we would have to do is we're going to have to go in there and find the Conicio admin folder and delete that key. We're going to have another tech video, uh, a tech tip video, uh, in order to uh, address this uh, scenario. But for now, I'll just leave the keys here.